A West Michigan father is fighting to be reunited with his three and a half year old daughter. He says his ex wife took their child to Ecuador and has no plans to bring her back. 24 Hour News 8's Megan Stemble is here with their story now. Megan? Well, it's been almost two months since Greenville father Jason Zank has seen his daughter Brianna. He is keeping hope that his ex wife will return their daughter safely to West Michigan, but he has no idea when that might be. She just loves to ride her Jeep. Jason Zank can see his daughter in 15 second increments. Precious seconds of video taken on his cell phone before she disappeared. I got you. It was early December when Zank's ex wife, Liz Lopez Zank, called saying she and the couple's three year old daughter had arrived in Ecuador. They were safe and would be staying with Liz's family. I never thought it would happen. The international trip violated the couple's divorce decree and the joint custody agreement between the two. Since then, Zank has not talked with his daughter, but he recalls phone calls with her from a previous trip to Ecuador. When I talked to her on the phone, she'd always cry to me, want me to come pick her up. Daddy, come get me and take me home. I had to tell her on the phone that no, Daddy can't take you home. Three-year-old Brianna's room sits empty in her Greenville home while officials with the U.S. Embassy in Ecuador work with the local government there to find her. They have confirmed she's in the country. According to the Amber Alert Registry, more than 350,000 family abductions take place every year. That is almost 1,000 every day. About 163,000 of those cases involve taking a child across state lines. Well, I'm hoping to get people's attention on parental abduction and child kidnapping. Can you give me a message? Nobody deserves to have their child taken from them. Liz wrote Jason a six-page letter explaining why she left with Brianna. In the letter, she accused him of sexually abusing their daughter. We did do a background check on Jason and found he had no criminal history. I did speak with Liz's attorney within the last half hour. He says Liz did the only thing she could to get her child out of a bad situation. Jason denies those allegations.